the original Canon 7D and 100 to 400 were pretty good pieces of gear, but the 7D Mark II and the latest 100 to 400 are in a different bracket when it comes to performance. Pairing the 100 to 400 Mark II with the 7D Mark II means that you're making a combination of new generation Canon products. And some of the biggest benefits that come with that are increased autofocus accuracy and precision, as well as the benefits of the latest generation image stabilization. So when I'm using the 100 to 400 Mark II, the 7D Mark II, some of the biggest differences or improvements that I notice are, especially when I compare my results with what I get using some of Canon's older lenses, like the 300 L f4 IS uh, or the EF 400 L 5.6. Um, it's just a whole lot easier to to get good sharp shots with uh, with the newer generation um, gear. For wildlife use, this uh, combination has got very fast autofocus. Uh, there's a deep buffer that I've never yet uh, managed to uh, reach when I'm shooting in the field. It's also light and easy to zoom in and out, easy to manage and control, so you don't miss a lot of shots because you're struggling with a cumbersome um, combination. Some of the best uh, things about using this camera and lens combination for wildlife uh, are the lightweight, um, the manageability that comes with, with that, so you don't miss shots when you're trying to manhandle a big cumbersome uh, combination in the field. It's also fast at 10 frames a second, it's got a very short uh, uh, shutter lag and a very deep buffer, something that I've not really reached the end of uh, when I'm out in the field. When it comes to focal length, uh, 400 millimeters is pretty good and it quite easily covers most of the mammal photography that I do. It's also good for birds, but you need to be able to get a little closer for most birds at 400 millimeters or you need birds that are a little bigger. So um, another option is to add the 1.4 um, extender. With that uh, in place you have a 560 millimeter f8 lens which will still autofocus on the 7D Mark II using the center point alone. So why would you need anything else? Um, as good as the 100 to 400 lens is, it still has a maximum aperture of 5.6 so if you're shooting in extreme low light uh, the 7D Mark II will do better uh, if you pair it with an f4 or an f2.8 lens. Um, equally, as good as the 7D Mark II is when it comes to image quality, it does have a smaller APS-C sensor, so if you need more low light capability, uh, you could use this lens and pair it with a 5D Mark III or 5DSR or one of the 1D series to get the benefits that uh, full frame brings for low light shooting. But overall, uh, this is a great choice and perhaps the best value for money um, on the market right now for South African wildlife photographers. Subscribe to this channel if you want to keep getting videos about Canon gear from a wildlife photographer's perspective.